I tell this story and everybody says, oh, he's what a great hero. You must be, have a lot of fun. Let me, let, me, let me be as honest as I can. I am not a very good race car driver. Uh, I, uh, I don't win very many races. Uh, I usually do fight it out in the last uh, third of the cars toward the end. Uh, but why do I do it? Uh, I do it because it is my way of overcoming fear and change. It is my way of conquering something that I'm not good at. Uh, at the end, I'm going to suggest to you, not that you do race car driving, but that you, in fact, begin to try to do something you're not good at. All of us at a very early stage in our lives are good at violin, sport, mathematics, science, something. We get, uh, we get congratulations initially from our parents, our teachers, uh, then it's professors, and we continue on that course. No one doesn't like to be uh, what I guess Americans call attaboy. You're doing well, you're doing uh, attaboy. Uh, and so we very early in our lives self-select those things that we are good at uh, because it, there's a positive uh, feedback loop in our lives and nobody doesn't like that, that's great. I suggest to you that if you want to be a well-rounded person, if you want to enlarge your um, spectrum of activities and basically your confidence level, try doing things you're not good at. Uh, try hard to focus and concentrate. Uh, I, I once gave a lecture at another university to uh, the senior staff. I said, just switch places with your secretary for one week. See how hard it is making appointments, getting people uh, parking passes, running for coffee, lunch arrangements. Uh, uh, most people say, well, I, I have somebody do that. Yeah, I, I know that. And I'm not suggesting you take it up as a profession. I want you to become appreciative of what other people can do, and it teaches you humility. And humility is, in many respects, something that is lacking in most people in this society. When you're arriving in a race car and you finish at the end and you've done your best, you have to be humbled a little. There are people in this world who can do it significantly better than you. It is not my profession, it's my avocation, uh, and uh, so I enjoy it, but I think it is important, which gets me to trying to tie all of this back into the university. We're about to go on a journey, described by Fred, by Ron, by others we've heard. Uh, it is easy for all of us uh, to say, well, I don't do that, I don't fundraise, uh, I, I'm, I'm not moving downtown, or I don't know how to, uh, the, 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 the truth is, you're a professor of English or history or whatever, and you've never done any fundraising, and you really don't know how to do any kind of design or move downtown or move here or there. That's the natural resistance that we all have. We want to do what we're do very good at. If you're a professor of English or history, you're really good at it. You've gone through a half a dozen schools and courses. I'm suggesting that you try to do uh, what is difficult, what you've never done. If it happens to be a fundraising uh, opportunity, you don't have to make the call, you don't have to understand. Ron, I, I met this fellow, he's very interested in marine biology or in uh, uh, cyberspace or whatever it is. I think you should talk to him. Let me just arrange a coffee. It, you'll be uncomfortable doing it if you've never done it before. It is, in essence, a way for you to grow as a human being, for all of us to embrace what is going to be a journey with bumps in the road, with some successes, a few failures. Uh, we'll finish last place in a race, but we'll continue to race because it is important to accomplish the goal. And so I want to suggest that not all of you take up racing, that you take up some kind of, uh, 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 of, a, of a different way to approach your life. I'll give you a couple. I'm getting a little old to be racing uh, at my age, so I have taken up, uh, you'll laugh, chess. I never played it as a child. I have a seven-year-old grandson. He beats me regularly. Uh, I, I have now started going to the classes with other seven-year-olds to try to learn chess. You think it's easy? 
go try it. You, 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 you've got to be humble enough to sit there and learn and, uh, and, and change. Uh, I've done a, a couple of other things that I can talk about if, if anybody has questions. Anyways, my, my go figure is try something different. It'll make you a better human being and it, it'll give you the confidence to get on this trip with Ron to change the, uh, the university. Thank you very much. Uh, it, it, uh, I'm sorry, do I take questions? Yes. Right. Are there any questions? Nobody. Everybody I convinced her, they just thought the ideas were crazy. Go figure, no questions. Thank you very much.